Hear me and hear me good. Blue Lock is the Inazuma 11 of this generation. And it shows. I am not going to lie. I used to hate football. And I still don't understand a thing of it. Yes, you have like the Messi and the Ronaldo, Neymar, Lewandowski, ski, ski. Besides naming a few famous footballers, I don't get any further than that. But thanks to Blue Lock <laughs> and, and Papi, <laughs> I'm really starting to get more and more interested into soccer. What's with all the hype? Why does it hit every single manga reader or anime only out there? Even if they do not know anything about sports like me. What the heck is the manga smoking? To answer all of these questions, we must figure out the formula on how Blue Luck is created and what the three successful elements are that make Blue Luck part of your big W's. For that, I would like to take you to travel back in time, the times when we had no worries and were careless about our lives. AKA childhood. I remember when I was a kid, I used to watch a lot of TV. And one of those TV shows that I loved watching was Inazuma 11. It's also a sports anime about football where Endo, the MC, tries to save his football club by gathering more and more players to the team. And for the people that do not know Inazuma 11, Inazuma 11, I am telling y'all, it was so elite back in the day, like for real. I had classmates that would copy all the techniques just for the sake of looking cool to the others because oh my gosh, Koenji my baby! Anyway, when watching Blue Lock, it really gave me the nostalgia of Inazuma 11. Yes, plot-wise, it's not the same, because if we're talking about that, then Aoshi would be a better pick. But what is it then? Well, I'm just telling you that the formula. Mm, mm, mm. I know, I know, I know. Please, but wait. I'm, I'm getting to the point. I'm getting to the point. Before we discuss the ultimate, amazing, magnificent, stunning, outstanding formula that Blue Lock uses, please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me on my socials. <laughs> Okay, let's get it. The first element of the God Tier Inazuma 11 formula that Blue Lock is using is the power system. But Lin, does Blue Lock even have a power system? The power system in Inazuma 11 is completely different, and these are two completely different animals. Yes, Blue Lock certainly does have a power system. Blue Lock is using an aura or so-called weapons, as far as I know, and just adds like cool skills to it, blah blah blah. We know what's going on. We have seen Izagi and Abaro going crazy in the latest episodes, and I'm not going to lie. I am impressed. Inazuma 11 in the same hand, no idea if this is an English expression, but I'm uh, moving on, has a similar power system, but has actually given it a name, which is Hisatsu. You can see Hisatsu as a sort of aura or chakra, but very much supported by the personality of the player. And with that special personal chakra that they have, they develop their own unique football techniques to become better at playing. Does this sound familiar? Or are your brain cells just as dead as mine because, you know, life? <laughs> anyway, if you haven't noticed, Blue Lock is using the same exact technique. Stinging from me, Nazuma 11! <laughs> How dare you! No, but for real, of course it's made in a different way that is suitable for the plot. Because after all, Inazuma 11 and Blue Lock are just two completely different enemies. But they share the same essence. And what works in both Blue Lock and Inazuma 11 is that it not only makes each and every individual player very unique, but also, come on, have you seen the animation in Blue Lock? Oh my god, that shit is B to the A to the D S. Freaking a badass. But 
let's not forget the second most important element of the formula, which is the characters. Characters really break or make any story for me. If it's shit, it's shit. No turning backs on that. But what I love about Blue Lock and Inazuma 11 is that they add so much freaking flavor to the characters. I love how they introduce every character and later on also show the backstories of them. Let's take Izagi and Endo for example. Both the MCs of the show, blah blah blah, and both share the same motives on why they started football. They were inspired by someone. For Izaki, it were the famous football players that he saw on TV when he was a kid. And for Endo, it was the notebook that his grandpa wrote about his journey in the football scene. And y'all can come at me. I do not give a f But what makes it even more flavored for me is the depth of the characters and their desires. Mind you, we are talking about kids wanting to achieve their dreams. This goes to a very psychological level, in my opinion. Because everyone has dreams. Looking at Luffy, looking at Naruto, whatever MC is out there, dreams are meant to be followed. Because you have to listen to your heart when it's calling for you. No, but seriously, for real, y'all can say it's a very cliche thing, blah, blah, blah. But really, think about it. Hey yo, I'm really onto something. <laughs> anyway, the last but not least important element of the Inazuma 11 formula for the success of Blue Lock is the animation. I'm telling y'all, this shit is the same damn hype feeling as I got when I saw Goenji using that damn freaking fire dragon technique. Because oh my gosh, my boy went crazy on that one and that shit was back in 2009. Can you imagine? Personally, I was really scared how they would animate Blue Lock into the anime, you know, because the art of Blue Lock is outstanding. I am reading the manga physically though, but regardless of what platform you read it from, the art is so freaking good and i'm really like really impressed on how they managed to catch the similar vibe into the anime talking about inazuma 11 this shit came out in 2008 look at this masterpiece mind you this is from 2008 y'all cannot tell me that this shit looks so freaking good for the time that it has been created because oh my god listen i don't know what they were on i don't know what they have been smoking i don't smoke but i need that shit anyway for both the animation really helps to boost their hype i'm not going to lie because inazuma 11 and blue lock are both sports anime after all but for me they have a very special spot in my heart <laughs> and honestly, I am really curious what you think about my take. Do you agree or do you disagree? Let me know in the comments and I see you all in my next video. Have a great day and bye bye!